Now, in the women's event, Andreas on 24 points, James on 31 points. That's a seven point difference, giving Jane a three and a half second head start. Jane, you will go on my first whistle. Andrea, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Sheffield's Jane Smith sets out to become Supreme Gladiator Champion. Andrea Wari from Cornwall has the same ambition. Jane's Auntie Jean feeling the strain already. Flying leap net from Andrea, pulling back some time. All but faltering at the top. Jane to the rope as Andrea up and overs the net. Jane safely up to the ladder. Fast handiwork. Andrea on the rope. The tension too much for Lisa. Jane smoothly from the trapeze to the giant killing scramble net. Andrea will need a clean swing. Gets it. 23-year-old Jane nears the top as Andrea begins her long haul upwards. Jane to the gantry. Andrea crabbing right to save time. Jane's dad grateful to see her safely on that zip line and en route for the splashdown. Final approach, good landing. And a last ever view of the arena for Andrea down the line for impact. Lisa knows she's still in with a shout. Jane can't afford a mistake. Second seesaw, family can taste victory now. Steadies herself for the travel later and the Supreme Champion's title. She's there, yes, she's up. Jane Smith from Sheffield, the best of the best. True Sheffield Steel. The family celebrate their champion. Andrea Worry teams the Travelator one last time. What a great champion in her own right. Domestic champion, Springbok champ, and a runner-up tonight. Jane! Jane Smith! It didn't matter how fast that Travelator was going to be. You were going to get up there. You have been an absolutely amazing champion of champions here on Gladiators. How do you feel? Absolutely fantastic. I'm speechless. You know, I won it last year. Fantastic feeling to do it all again. It just doesn't sink in, I can't believe it. Well, you're not just a champion of Gladiators, as I said. You're, you're a champion of all the champions that we've had here. You've been outstanding throughout. You've kept your spirit and humour, and you've always been smiling. I have a trophy for you here. You Gladiator Supreme <laughs> Champion. And more importantly, Champion of champions, the supreme champion of gladiators, Jane Smith! Well, Andrea, that's unlucky. You don't go away empty-handed. You still got your beautiful trophy. I think looking back, you lost it a little bit also on one of the first cargo nets where I thought you caught your heel. I put my foot straight through the net, going up and then going down, I got my foot caught and fell off backwards, so uh, I lost quite a bit there, but... She didn't make one mistake, so I couldn't take advantage of it. So, well done, Jane. Go and say thank you to all your friends and your family. Well done, Andrea! Andrea's disappointed dad, John. What emotions for him. And what emotions for the Victoria Smith family. Jane's boyfriend, Ben, brother, Andy, and mum and dad, Jenny and Julian. Meanwhile, Andrea's dad provides a consoling shoulder. See this not as a wake, but as a celebration of a fantastic production and a fantastic group of people coming together, producing a fantastic program. And it's been an honour and a pleasure to be part of it. Cheers to Gladiators. Cheers, Uli. Couldn't have put it better myself. Meanwhile, in the men's contest, a three-point lead means a one-and-a-half-second advantage for Mark in the last ever eliminator. Mark, you will go on my first whistle. Dave, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Mark Everett's away, followed by Dave Walter. So this is the final one, glad fans. And already Dave snatched the lead. Mark failed to clear a beam and paid the price. Dave's sister Bridget and mum Molly behind him on the net, throwing themselves down the other side. Mark leads as Dave gets in a tangle. Rope to the handbike stage. Mark hits the front again. Can Dave pull it back with pedal power? Frank 
Mikey in full voice. Mark will touch down first. Dave losing momentum. Mark to the trapeze. Neat changeover. Dave pulling it back again. The muscle tearing, hand burning climb to the gantry. Dave's sister Rachel and niece Charlotte know he can do it. Mark will hit the top first. Dave's feet letting him down again. The spring to the zip and the fastest part of the course. Mark to the crash mat and Dave needs a flying exit here. And gets one. Injured Piers Bryant, whom Dave replaced, urging him on. Mark on the beam. Dave fighting for his balance. Second seesaw for Mark. It's pretty well neck and neck. Frankie screaming. She knows it's Mark's travelator. He's going. He's gone. Oh, he's bloated. I don't believe it. Mark's gone. And Dave powers through. Frankie's collapsing apoplexy. Dave Walters is the men's gladiator champion supreme. And there's chaos in the Walters camp. And for Mark, the lonely sprint up the rolling hill and the knowledge he was inches from victory. He dug deep. He went to the courage bank. But the cupboard was bare. Mark Everett from Boston, Lincolnshire, completes the course. David, David, absolutely fantastic. David, take that medal out. You deserve that. Champion of champions. And take it out as well. A check for £8,000. Talk us through it all, David. You've got to, step by step. Uh, first of all, John, you the over-under hurdles. Next up was a travelator. Very hard, I tell you. That guy is so fast, I knew I had to pull something out of the hat. I, I saw my chance, I just had to go for it. Unfortunately for Mark, it paid off, but he was there all the way. What a great final, absolutely fantastic. And here's your trophy, well done. And what are you gonna do with that money? Um, I hope Piers is watching. Oh, I'm sure he is. Because I know Piers has hurt his shoulder. He's gonna be out of work for a long time. So I hope he's going to accept £2,000 from me. Great sport, great donation. I know all of Piers supporters and all the well-wishers have all been following you all the way along. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for all the supporters. You've been great. A lot of you came up. I phoned you last night. You've come up here for tonight and you've done great. David, go and thank them. Well done, champion, David. To your heavy heart, it's my duty to give you this heavy marble piece. I can't imagine how disappointed you must be. Yeah, that was the ultimate challenge. I mean, I knew Dave was a good lad. He doesn't make mistakes. I did my best on the night, but the uh, travel agent it just had me. You were so keen, you knew you were slightly ahead and you just thought you'd go for it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think what I did, I just grabbed for the top. Like you say, a bit too keen, but not to worry. I'd like to thank all the gladiators. I've really enjoyed this. I mean, I love all of them, and I hope they love me too. My family, my training partners, Harlem, Shay, Frankie, thanks for all their support. All of Boston, thank you! And thank you, Mark Everett. It's been great to have you on the show, and the very best of luck in the future for you. Let's hear it, everybody, for Mark Everett. Mark, a gracious gentleman, the runner-up. But here's the supreme champion of gladiators, Dave Walter. As I hand you back to John and Ollie for the last time, it's goodbye from me. Well, what we've seen tonight, Ollie, it makes you very sad it's the last series, because really, this is the ultimate challenge. It certainly is, and if you haven't guessed it by now, it really is the last series of Gladiators. And who'd have thought, eight years ago, when we first started this show, that it would go on for so long, bring us so much joy, laughter, blood, sweat and tears. We've met some fantastic people here on Gladiators. We've seen dreams and and hopes realized and shattered it's been a fantastic journey we're going to leave you with some of those memories and for the first time on gladiators here it's not good night it's farewell Hooray!